Hey guys, Kevin here. I came across something interesting the other day called Superbook that I thought you would all like to see. It's a laptop shell and on its own it doesn't do anything but if you plug in your Android smartphone, the idea is it turns this shell into a fully functional computer. Now you can see here on the homepage that it's going to retail at $99. It's not actually been developed yet, they're currently trying to fund it. But it's an interesting concept. If you look down here you can see the features. It's going to retail at $89 like I said and it will work on all Android smartphones that have Android 5.0 and 1 gigabyte of RAM or more. It will have an 11.6 LCD display, 8 hours of battery life, multi-touch trackpad and keyboard and it will have support for millions of Android apps. So if you go down here as well you can see some more of the features. Um, the general idea is that it works kind of like a Chromebook, that kind of idea, you know, it's like a limited um, computing device, you know, that will have a kind of Windows interface and you can see it down here. I'll just share some of these images. Actually, it looks like a really nice laptop on its own, you know, it looks like it's got a good keyboard. And you can see there, it just looks like Windows, really. Looks really good. I like the idea of this, um, you know, as you know, I, I like these kind of gadgets and little things, interesting things like this. I don't think this is something that's ever going to become mainstream, you know, but I like the concept of this and for a number of reasons. Firstly, it is that you always have your smartphone with you. So if you've got your smartphone with you, it's much easier to put, you know, something like this in your bag and then you can just connect the two of them together because you're always going to have your smartphone. and. The, the premise of that is that if you have a shell and it's being powered through your smartphone, then you don't actually need to have that much powerful, you know, things going on in, in the laptop itself. You know, you don't, you're not going to have to um, have RAM and all these extra things in the shell. All, everything's going to be powered through your smartphone. So it allows the actual Superbook, as they're calling it, to be small. And it's much smaller than a laptop. Now, there's obviously going to be some problems, you know, the fact that you're going to be draining battery from your smartphone. That's, I assume, number one. Um, but I do like the concept and I like I like the fact that, you know, there's things like this being developed. There's currently a video um, available that shows you how it works. And I'll just quickly bring that up. That's not too loud. My name is Gordon. I'm here to demo. Is you hook it up your smartphone, Android smartphone, onto the laptop, onto the smartphone, and it'll automatically transform the device into a desktop environment. So, window kind of environment. So um, you can see here is it's using an OS called Andronium, and I believe there's a link here somewhere on. Uh, yep, there it's there. So there's actually the um, it's an app that you can download for your phone. It's there, Andronium, and you know it's still in beta. It's still being developed, so it's going to be buggy, buggy as hell. It's probably got lots of little problems with it, but you know it, it is what it is. So you can't buy this just yet. Um, you can see at the top here it's being crowdfunded and it launches on June 15th. Now, my overall, my general opinion, I would say, uh, on crowdfunding is I tend to stay clear of them because there's so many scare stories with these crowdfunding things, you know, going on where things aren't developed like they should uh, should be. And even when they are developed well, the, the first people who fund them, you know, even though they give them little perks and things like that, they tend to be guinea pigs and the device that you get isn't the most refined version. So I always kind of stay clear of them until they're launched properly and the successful ones then I check them out again. But still, I, I recommend checking this out. It's called Superbook and if you go to getsuperbook.com you can find out more about it. $99, you know, if you do want to take a chance on it, it's not a huge amount of money. So if you do uh, travel about, if you, you know, you might want to check this out. You know, it's an interesting concept. You're always going to have your smartphone with you. So if you're traveling a lot, if you're at university or something like that, you know, you're on the bus, on the train, you might find something like this quite interesting. You're always going to have an internet signal through your smartphone. 
obviously unless you're in the country and things like that, but in general, if you get a good signal on your phone, on your, your commute, then you can use the internet through this as well. So I think it's a good idea. Will it be good? Probably not, to be honest. <laughs> but um, it's an interesting concept anyway. And I thought, I, 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 even though, you know, I don't know if this will work. I don't think it's going to go mainstream. But I, I do like I do like when companies like this try and push things forward. And they try and do different things. You know, they try and push technology forward by taking a risk. This isn't something that Apple would try. You know, this uh, they would wait for companies like this to make their mistakes. You know, and then a year or two later, then that's when they'll they will look at what worked and what didn't and then bring out something that's better. So this is really at the beginning of, you know, the, the, these kind of hybrid devices. Well, we've had hybrid devices over the last few years that have tried to do something. Like Asus did some, uh, you know, with the, with their phone working in tangent with the, with the tablet and, and the laptop as well. But I think the what really sets this apart is the fact that it works with all Android devices. You don't have to buy a specific phone. You don't have to buy anything. You know, as long as you've got an Android phone at 5.0 and above, which if you've got a phone over the last two years, you will have that, then it should work. Um, I'm not sure what the speed is going to be like. I'm not sure what the performance is going to be like. But, you know, if your phone is fast, then expect this thing to be fast as well. And yeah, check it out. There's not really much else I can say about it because... There's not more, uh, much more information about it, but check out getsuperbook.com. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if this is something you would like to to buy or to try out. And as always, you know, if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a comment below or sign, uh, subscribing to my channel or sharing or liking. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, take care.